Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, uh, instead of a training, I'll try to share my feelings uh, or thoughts. Um, so actually, I subscribe to Mark Cashman's uh, newsletter that's called Cashbox, and he writes very well. And I'm uh, I follow him very. Uh, each time he get, he sends something, I enjoy uh, reading. But I have some comments and um, I would like to share it with you. So as you see here he writes all files in one place. Um, <clears throat> so he shows us a, a team site uh, and the first thing that I noticed is that um, the same um, channel that he's showing is pinned up here. Um, it's very hard for me to understand uh, which team site does the channel belong but maybe he knows that but um, it's it would be much easier to to see the channel sorry the team and the channels in order to to the most of the public would understand uh, the second thing is I see we see here uh, the felt tab uh, which has uh, lots of uh, subfolders. You see that we have uh, Microsoft Ignite, then we have Post Shows, we have On Demand, we have the folder, and within also. Um, so, um, as I understand, uh, yeah, there's also some limit of uh, of characters that can be used, but. Um, Actually, Microsoft has been talking about um, not using lots of folders because it's hard to uh, locate um, the documents. Um, the more you have uh, deeper uh, subfolders, it's harder to, to find it. Yes, we have the search box. But so the first topic is I see here um, lots of subfolders. I don't know how, how good it is also to find. The second issue is that I see that the folder name is very, very long. Uh, so as I said, uh, there might be a problem <coughs> of uh, maximum length because I think uh, there's a 400 character uh, length that you cannot uh, pass. And if you sync the document, uh, I think it's only 256 uh, through OneDrive. So I think best best practice would be one to make less sub uh, folders, two to make the folder uh, shorter, um, and uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, okay, um, now we don't know, um, we can't see here actually the name of the file, but also the name of the file shouldn't be too long, uh, should be just explaining um, what is needed. Uh, you notice also the name of the folder has uh, some uh, OD017. This actually could be a metadata, a column, a separate metadata instead of the name of the folder. Uh, that's better best practice. Now this file tab actually is quite limited. You see we have the modified and modified by and done. But if, even if we had uh, additional columns, currently it's not possible to edit uh, the metadata. Uh, if we want to do that, we can add the plus button and add a separate uh, library or through the SharePoint choose a library and then it's possible to edit. But this view is actually uh, working like in the file server. Um, so this is what I, what I think. Now, um, There's actually two concepts that um, that is possible to work. 
the classical one way is actually to work uh, with folders and subfolders and put the, the files there. The second option is actually to use no folders and to use metadata that describe. Uh, that way it's faster um, to find it and you don't have such a, um, you don't need folders. Now in SharePoint it's possible to create a view where you hide uh, the folders. But then uh, we get to a situation where if we reach the 5000 uh, threshold then uh, we start to get uh, problems. So uh, there's two concepts. One is actually um, using the classical way uh, of uh, like we used file share that we have uh, uh, folders and the other one is uh, only using metadata. By the way you can use the combination but then um, you will be if you have also folders and also metadata then you will be able to filter only uh, within a folder. <clears throat> so um, this is what I found in Teo now. Um, let's see what we have next. Um, okay. Uh, by the way, if we're talking about a big amount of uh, documents, um, then it's it's not recommended to use. Um, the file tab. Uh, what happens is that each channel that we create is actually creates a folder in the SharePoint backend uh, document library, uh, the shared documents. So each channel is a, is a folder there. Now if we're talking about large amount of uh, documents then uh, as we don't have really a, a limit of number of uh, document libraries in SharePoint, then it's best practice is uh, to create uh, multiple document libraries and to split the, the, the quantity uh, in order that we don't uh, get to the 5000 uh, threshold. The threshold is actually per view, meaning Microsoft says that you could have, uh, I don't know, uh, 10 million, 20 million, something like that documents. But the limit of the threshold is per uh, view. So that means uh, within the folder you can have up, up to that. But uh, the whole way of working in Teams is actually, um, yeah. If we can actually reach that, if, if it's all in one view. Um, Maybe the usage of um, Microsoft Teams is meant for small projects and uh, so you would never get to that uh, amount. Um, but this is uh, what I think. In addition, he's showing here um, how to how he works with lists. Microsoft Lists is a great place <coughs> where you can put your topics and have metadata and uh, maintain it. Everyone can see it. It can be stored uh, locally or if it's in a team then actually it's, it's with SharePoint. Um, if you notice here actually you see he's been he's doing grouping. Yeah, That's a standard feature from, from all uh, but you notice that actually uh, the session type repeats itself each time. Now, okay, so people know <laughs> uh, actually that a blog and breakout is, is, is a type. So um, I would actually would like, if it's possible, uh, that Microsoft will uh, let us also um, create a view where you don't need to see the name prefix of, of this uh, grouping. Um, it's possible currently uh, with JSON to edit the view and to apply it. I actually uh, tried it and it looks much better. 
and uh, I think it would be a very good feature uh, to use. So uh, this is actually the, 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 the comments I found. Uh, this time it was not a training, but it was just uh, thinking out loud um, what Microsoft wants us to do. Do we want to work on folder structure? Do we want to work on no folders and metadata? Um, and in some ways, uh, Microsoft Teams is actually um, forcing us to work in, in the folder structure. Um, so it's good. It's good for collaboration. And but once you you reach um, a big amount of documents, then uh, you might uh, it might not be the proper way. Because if we're trying to educate and adopt do adoption for people to use metadata, in this case, people are one are uh, lazy, two, uh, it doesn't let you do it uh, in the folder, in the files tab, and even if you add uh, a document library as a separate tab, um, then uh, still, um, yeah. So this is my thoughts. Uh, I would like to hear uh, what you say. Um, Again, this is not nothing personal. This is uh, professional comments that I'm, I have uh, with myself and I wanted to share it with you. I think um, all of the content that Mark has, has published is amazing. I think he, he, he knows how to present things in a very easy way. And uh, I look forward to uh, learning a lot from him. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, thank you everyone, and uh, I would really be happy to hear in the comments what, what you think about this. Thank you and have a good day, goodbye.